Well, firstly, congrats, Chloe. You've just signed a brand new contract extension with the club. How are you feeling? Yeah, of course, I'm very happy to sign the contract extension. Uh, I've been at the club for a while now. This will actually be my 10th year here at the club. So to sign a contract extension for another season, I'm, I'm very happy with. You know, just kind of going back now, we're approaching a year since your ACL injury. Looking back on that night, you know, can you even put into words what that was like, you know, particularly given the week that it was in? Yeah, it was definitely a challenging week for me. Um, I think I was absolutely gutted, really, you know, but it doesn't really come close to describing how I felt at the time. Of course, on the Tuesday, I got my first senior call up to the national squad, and I was, you know, delighted. I was quite surprised, but I was really looking forward to it. And then the Thursday evening, playing a match, and unfortunately, I go down with, with my knee, and I find out that I've torn my ACL. And I think whenever you hear that, you know, it's your ACL, you know it's, it's long term. And so, yeah, I went from, you know, the Tuesday being really excited, um, looking forward to an opportunity to be involved with the national setup, and then the following week, knowing that I'd be out for at least nine months to probably a year. Um, so quite a challenging week for me, but um, it, it's happened. I've, I've had to deal with it, and I'm just happy I'm here where I am now. And, you know, how has that re rehab process been for you and out with the medical side of things, has there been anything that's been really important to you to keep um, keep going on in the background? Yeah, I mean, from the medical point of view and you know, physically, I've done really well with my rehab. Um, my knee's coped really well. I've, I got my flexion and extension back really early um, and rehabs went well. Um, the most difficult thing is, you know, the injury side of football is, is tough on you mentally. Um, you know, I have felt really isolated. I've also not been involved with the squad the same way I would as if I was playing. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been really difficult. You know, there's no hiding that. Um, and so now that I'm at the kind of latter stages of my rehab, I'm just so excited to get back involved with the girls and kind of start to feel myself again and start to feel like a footballer again. You know, when it is such a long-term injury, just Going back to the extension now, how important is getting that extension and the security of that, not just in terms of you know your future and support from the club, but just giving you something to keep you motivated you know, through those tough times? Yeah, um, definitely gives me that kind of sense of security. Um, you know, I had my surgery in March and I'm kind of on track for that 12 month turnaround. And so if I return in March I, without the extension, I'd maybe only have a couple months to, to try and prove myself and earn something else. But Having that security there of another season here is, you know, re really reassuring from the club that you know they're supporting me and that, um, you know, it's a thing that I'm very happy about and I'm looking forward to just getting back on the pitch and um, not having to to rush anything or feel the pressure to earn a new contract as quickly as what I would have done without the extension. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, Lucy Ashford Clifford, you know, she's just about to go through what you're hopefully now coming to the end of. Have you spoken much to her? Yeah. Things. yeah, of course. I think you know when your teammate goes through a setback or an injury, you show your support for them. Um, we've we've been speaking away. She's been asking questions about you know the kind of process and what to expect, and I've just tried to be as as helpful as I can with her. You know, she knows that I'm going to support her the entire journey, and as well, you know, the rest of the squad. She's got a good squad around her, um, but you know. You, I've not sugarcoated anything, I don't think you can. She knows it's going to be a challenging kind of nine, twelve months for her, but um, she's she's a great person, she'll get through it fine and I know that the club will be supporting her with it. You know, talking about how you're going to take on that supportive role for Lucy, what have your teammates been like for you over this past year? Yeah, well, it's been quite a high turnover of players. There's a lot of players in the squad that I've never actually trained or played with. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting to play with new players and you know obviously I've been watching their training and their games and so I get a bit about what they're like but actually being with them and playing with them is different and that's something I'm definitely looking forward to. And when you're out with a long term injury the support of, of your teammates and your friends is, is massively important um, and they've tried their best to kind of make me still feel like part of the squad but um, I'm just itching to get back on the pitch to really feel like I'm contributing to the squad in a different way. I know you're really excited to work with Pamela, you know, since she's joined the club, how have you found that? Um, I know obviously sometimes you're not with the girls because of your rehab process, but from what you've seen of her, how excited are you to work with her? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to work with Pam. I think since her first weekend, I've seen her at training, I knew straight away that 
I was even more kind of itching to get back involved. You know, Pam's a very experienced goalkeeper, and that's something that you know I'm not used to at this club. And you know, she has a different way of doing things and maybe some a different skill uh, skill set than what I'm used to. So I'm definitely looking forward to training with her. Um, she's been really supportive of me in my rehab and offered lots of encouragement. Um, and I think it will benefit us both when I'm able to get back involved with with the goalies. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm looking forward to getting involved with Pam and just being a goalkeeper again. And you know, you've already said it, but just how excited are you really to get back onto the training pitch and then hopefully, you know, eventually back on a Sunday? Can you even put that into words? Yeah, I've already said that I'm itching to get back and I think that does describe it. Um, you know, I've kind of not really felt myself the last year or so. Um, I'm looking forward to being a goalkeeper again, being a football player, being a teammate. Um, and I'm at the latter stages of my rehab now where I'm doing a combination of gym and pitch based kind of physio work. Um, the next stage is hopefully within the next few weeks I'm back in joining up with the squad and doing some goalkeeper training and I think from there I'll really start to um, feel, feel like myself again um, and then it's about just progressing that to, to full time, uh, sorry, full contact training um, and then hopefully, you know, maybe around the, the March mark I'll be having the green light to be in a match day squad and be a player again and just feel like my usual old self which again I'm itching for and I'm just really excited about.